Welcome to the vlog. It is a Monday. It has been a very busy weekend. I've had my daughter here all weekend. We've been having some catch up time. She's not been here since before my maths exam, so it's been a few weeks since I've seen her. Uh, so I've spent a lot of time catching up, playing, doing good things. We had a Chinese on Saturday. We then had uh, pizza last night and she went way back to her mother's today. So a lot of good daddy daughter time done and really enjoyed it. We also watched a lot of the regional stuff for the CrossFit Games. If you're not into the CrossFit Games, uh, go check it out. First week of regionals was this weekend, second week is next week. Loads of good stuff to stream it all on Facebook if you're into that. Uh, go check them out. Uh, lots of really, really fit people, really inspirational stuff going on there. Really into that. Uh, but today we have had some bait now, so let's jump over. I opened this stuff up a little earlier on today, so we're going to go check that out. So we have some vape mail. Uh, here it is, nice box that's come in. I know what I've got here, so I'm just gonna open this up and we'll see if it is what I'm expecting. Uh, if it is, I'm gonna be a very happy boy. So let's just pop this open. So this has come from UK eSync, uh, I believe. That's the name, so we've got a bit of packing. We've got iJoy Captain X3 tank uh, coils. So these are the mesh coils for the Avenger. So there we go. Yeah, those are the mesh coils. So I've got three of those. That's for the Avenger tank. So 3X mesh, it says it on this side there. So I've been waiting for those so I could do the Avenger and get that back up and running. But that's not the main thing that's come here. The main thing that's come is a Pulse 80. So yes, we've got a Pulse 80. This has finally come in, and uh, that's it, it's in the box. So, we've got the Pulse 80, just gonna move that out of the way. So, oh, let's open this up. So, Pulse, Pulse 80 BF 80 watt box mod. So, brand new. Let's just take a quick look at the box. So the front there, see the front? And we've got the back with all the details there, you got your scratch and sniff and all that sort of stuff. So let's just open her up and get a first look at this. So we've got a warranty card. We've got a QC card. We've got a USB for charging for firmware. We've got, now this is something I made sure I got so I did get the pack that included this. I've got the squonk re refill bottle. So what this bottle is, is if we unscrew the top bit, that is a 510 connector there. So you can fill this up with juice and then you can fill your squonk bottle direct from it. So that is quite useful. I had to pay, I think an extra three or four pound for it, but it's gonna be worth it. Then we have the user guide. So here's the full user guide. And then here it is. I've been waiting a long time to get hold of this. Now I have it in my hand. The Pulse 80 watt mod. There's it. There it is. Let's just put the panels off. Now we've got the 18650 connector. We've got our squat bottle installed. So there it is. Let's just have a quick look at the inside here. Back panel comes off as well. Then we've got nice hefty magnets on the back there. It's got Tony B Project. So there we go, nice, nice, nice. Inside you can see it's showing the plus and negative for the battery, now I am gonna use a 2700 with this, so that's gonna be fine. And we've got our juice bottle, oh that's nice. So the juice bottle, nice split in there, and you've got a nice bit here that you can hold. So that's gonna be fine, and it says it actually says on the bottle, if you can see that, it actually says on there eight mil, so that's telling you how much it's going to hold so we'll pop that back in so let's get this going so yeah that bottle it, it is quite a nice bottle so I think what I'm going to do first is put some liquid in this bottle just in the standard way so I do have some liquid ready uh, I've got a bottle of Graham, Graham's Custard which is a juice that I do like so Graham's Custard so we're just going to pop that straight in Good. So there we go, that's the bottle installed. So next I'm going to take 
the 2700s that I had ready. So these are Sanyo B 2700s. I've got a couple of these um, I've been waiting for. And oh, there we go. So I'll turn her off. When you turn her on, saying off. One, two, three, four, five. Get the Pulse logo and Bandy Chip. Just letting you know what we've got there. We've got power mode. It's obviously out to 80 watts. So I have prepared. I have got the Pulse 24 sitting ready, and you see I've got the kind of seaweed resin on here. So Pulse 24 with its green drip trip drip tip going on. So we'll just get that screwed in there. And there we go, new coil plus or minus. Yes, it's a new coil. Power is showing full. It's reading at 0 0.32 ohm. Uh, let's just have a quick look at the build I've got in there. I've not even dripped on this yet. So there's the build ready to go. So we'll just do a quick squonk. See the resistance on the squonk bottle? Oh, and that's coming up nice and easy, nice and good. Just to give you a size comparison here, here's the Pulse 80 and there's the original Pulse next to it. So yeah, I do have both of these. I've only got one Pulse 24 though, that's the problem. I've only got one of those. This is taking a little while for the squonk. Yeah, that's looking okay. Okay, so we've got a 0 0.32 build in here. I've got it now at 40 watts. Let's give it its first two. So first time tooting on the Pulse 80 watt device I've been waiting for for a long time. That's nice. Feels quite good in the hand, feels quite heavy. Although I think 40 watts is a little low for that. Let's put it up to 50 watts. Obviously we've got the limitation of uh, 80 watts on this, so I don't really want to be running it at that full 80 watts. There we go, that's spot on. Running it at uh, 50 watts with that 0 0.32 build. It's nice and hot coming through there getting all the nice area airflow coming through and this is going to be definitely my go-to regulated squawker so I'm going to have a play with this I'm going to get down into it I'm going to get the coils installed on the Avenger as well uh, so that's it uh, I've finally got a Pulse 80 and there will definitely be a full review on this coming up with a direct comparison with the previous Pulse so that's something that's going to be on the channel at some point uh, Got to try this bottle out for the refilling, but for the minute, that's going to be it. So there we go. I've been. Uh, this was a few hours ago that I did the unboxing. I've been running this for a while. Been really enjoying it. Uh, I've been baking on it pretty much consistently since I've unboxed it. Uh, so we're going to come back and have a look at this in a minute. Uh, first off, I just want to go over what I've been vaping. So most of the weekend has been in the house, I've not really gone anywhere, so I've been vaping mainly on a few things. Uh, I was using the Avenger with the Big Baby Beast, but since I've got the new mesh coils come in, uh, I've actually set up the Avenger tank again, got the mesh coil installed, I've just got the batteries off charge for this, so it's fully charged. Uh, I've got this loaded up with a Wonder Melon Juice, which is a watermelon uh, bubble gum, uh, 8020 mix, 30, 30 milligram. Oh, no. 33 milligram e, e juice which is my usual sort of go-to and I'm loving that mesh coil in there and it's good uh, now I've got this one and I've got another two so I can really use this uh, really get into the mesh I do really like the mesh coil uh, that you're getting with this tank really really good little device uh, this is definitely my sub own setup for the time being Just really, really liking that. Uh, I've also been doing uh, quite a bit on the mechs. So, got the new mech that came in last week, uh, which I unboxed and set up on camera. You'll note that it's got a different RDA on it. When I set this up, I put the loop RDA straight on it, and I was running it with the loop for a few days. And then I was sitting going, I've, I've not really used the Dead Rabbit very much. 
got the dead rabbit in at the same time as the loop the loop kind of took forefront because it was needing a review done it was a new one whereas the dead rabbit's been out for a long time but i never really got a chance to get into the dead rabbit and use it very much i've had it sitting on the pulse for a little while i was using it on the pulse uh the original pulse uh as a squonk and i've decided to use it as a dripper on this one and it's working pretty well on there it looks really good on there it's got the uh resin drip tip here with the black and the red and it just seems to sit and fit really nicely on this mac uh liking it very much and i've been using it most of the weekend and if you've ever used the dead rabbit you know what i'm talking about with this it's a really easy deck to build on it's got really good flavor production and it's got the top airflow so the airflow is coming right at those coils which are re really down it's a slightly angled airflow as well so the air comes in goes down hits those coils then comes straight back up and again all that flavor come through it's a really good little rda one i've wanted for a long time really glad i got it but it's just the timing i didn't really get a chance to get into it so now i'm getting a chance to have a have a vape on it and i am liking it it's definitely one of my go-to rdas And it's definitely going to be in circulation for a while. I am liking it a lot. The other mech I've been using, obviously the Rogue Aliens here. This is the mech that I picked up when I was through in Glasgow. And it has been one of my go-to mechs for a while. Uh, I am really liking it a lot. Just liking this as a mech. It's got that lovely design on it. It's a really nice feel. It's a really heavy mech as well. I do like it. Uh, I have tried other RDAs on it, but most of my RDAs I get in black. Uh, so I really need to get a stainless one to go on here just to match it up. Get a bit of matchy matchy going on. But it is a nice mech. I am liking it a lot. And because I've been in the house, I've not really used them, but they have sort of been floating around. I've got the Vape Pad 22, the Keyboard Penguin, and the Fit. Those ones have just been for my big nicotine hits. Uh, I've got the higher Nick e juice in them. They're all floating about somewhere. Uh, I take them with me every any time I go out in the car. Those one of those is with me as a driving vape, but that's mainly the ones that I've been vaping uh, this, over the weekend here, uh, especially on those Macs, but. Most of this evening, pretty much since I unboxed this, I have been using the uh, Pulse 80 here. And I'm going to give you some of my initial impressions on uh, having my first vape with it. Before we go back to the Pulse, there's a couple of things I want to address that have been going on in vape news. Now, I could do separate vape news videos, but I'm just going to chuck it in the vlog here and just fill in what's going on so first off there was an incident in florida where a man died because of an exploding vape there's been loads of articles about this in the last few days um and it's a real shame that someone's died here because of a vape it you can't really blame anything else if you look into this you will see that it was a vape that exploded and he did get he did get covered in burns and he did die because of part of the vape exploding and actually impacting his head now the issue that I've got here is the way this is being reported specifically by the US media. The number of articles that I've seen about this that have popped up on Facebook, on Twitter, or all over the media with uh, images that are not the type of device that he was using. The type of device he was using was a mechanical mod, and all the images that I've seen have had things like cigarettes or ego pens, the really sort of low end devices, the ones that you just can't do this with. Uh, so like a cigarette, uh, one of these cigarette looking devices that you just inhale, draw on, gives you your nicotine fix and that's it. And reading, you got that image and you read the headline, man dies from exploding vape. It really doesn't give the right image of what has happened here. Uh, it seems to be tarring all vaporizers, all vape pens, all cigarette e-cigs with the same brush as this device. Now. If you look deep enough, if you look for the right articles, you will actually see the true story. And the BBC actually had a good article on this uh, on their on their website. Uh, it was well, I say good. It was better than the rest. And they actually did go in to explain the type of device that he was using. And he was, of course, using a mechanical mod. He was using a device like this. Uh, it was a one that was manufactured in Taiwan, 
and it had exploded. Now, whether this was a case that he had a defective battery, or whether it was a problem with the mod, or whether it was a low, low build, building too low for his ohms, uh, it's hard to tell. But having gone through a battery venting issue of myself, there are warning signs. So if a battery is about to vent, it, you have plenty of time to move this away. It doesn't vent instantly. There is time. Uh, and on top of that, there's also the fact that it's a mechanical. So there's plenty of safety that you need to know before you get into mechanical mods. Uh, not recommended for beginners. Not recommended unless you know what you're doing. Uh, with mechanical mods, you need to know your battery safety. You need to take care of your batteries. Make sure that that your wraps are perfect every time you put them in and out of the mod. Make sure there's nothing that could possibly short that battery out in the mod. Make sure the insides are clean. Make sure your connections are clean. And when you're making your builds, make sure that they are within the tolerances of the battery. If you're not sure, check out the battery info on Battery Mute. He knows his stuff. He tests every battery. And if your battery isn't there, don't use that battery. So, for example, my batteries, I know will go down to a 0 0.16 ohm build, but I don't go that low. I go, the, back, the build I've got in here is a 0 0.2 ohm build, 0 0.2 running on my bit battery, and I, it works absolutely spot on. Plenty of flavor, plenty of production, and there's no problem with that build and that battery combination. This is what you need to know if you're doing mechanical mods. Now, I'm not going to harp on continually on this video about it, but it is a, something that you need to know about. It's battery safety, it's knowing your resistances, knowing your ohms law. If you're going to get into any of this, then make sure you know this stuff. If you don't, then you could have issues. I've been through a battery venting issue, and I know my stuff. And luckily, it was, for me, a defective mod. The, uh, it was a magnetic switch that was on it and the magnets had inverted themselves in transit or as it came. So the second I put the battery in there, it shorted the battery and it bent it. That's what's happened. what happened. I figured this out eventually. Uh, wasn't sure what the problem was. It wasn't until I was sort of looking at the switch properly, I realized that the magnets were not right and that caused the battery to vent. If you want to go back on the vlogs, there are vlogs back there when this happened. Uh, they're called Exploding Vape. So there's stuff that went on there and I, I talked about it at the time, but as the main thing we need to take away from this is not that, that vapes explode, it's that we need to know our battery safety. And when these things happen, when they hit the news, it get, just gives the ammunition to these people that want to shut down vaping and uh, it's a lot worse over in America than it is over here. We have the TPD, which is really not that bad, and we have a lot of people that really want to sort of make vaping good in this country. We have things like Vapro, we have the Royal College of Physicians report, there's more reports coming out as well, which say that vaping is a good thing here. And in the UK, mechanical mods are very niche, so, the people that are actually getting into it, they know their stuff, and I know for a fact when you buy a, mo a mechanical mod from a shop, they will check that you know your battery safety. When I picked up this one, this was from a shop, and the guy would not sell it to me until I confirmed I knew all my battery safety and I knew my ohms law, which is absolutely brilliant. So the other thing in the news I want to say something on is the whole wet lung thing. What is wet lung? Well, I, mean, I don't know. No one knows. It's just a term that's being used to describe an ailment that a young lady in Pennsylvania is going through. Uh, essentially, she was admitted to hospital with respiratory issues. And after investigating, discovered they discovered it was an allergic reaction. It was an inflammation of the lungs caused by dust and pollen. But somehow, it was decided that vaping was to blame because she had been experimenting with vaping three weeks prior to being admitted. Yeah, I can't follow that one either. It makes absolutely no sense. But apparently vaping is to blame. Uh, so, once again, this is another article that's come out where vaping is being painted as the bad guy, although it doesn't really have anything to do with it. 
If you want to know more on this one, Grim Green has done a brilliant video explaining the whole thing. Go check him out on his channel. I'll put a link down in the description for his video so you can go check that out. Uh, I'm not going to dive any deeper into this one. It has been just another one of these scare articles. There are so many of these that come out and all I can say on any of these is check the sources. Anytime you see any of these articles, just check the sort of sources. If they're talking about research, check the research. There was one I was reading the other day uh, where they were saying that vaping is uh, four times more harmful than cigarette smoking. And then I actually went in and read the research because they copied in the research. And when you actually dig through the research, that's not what the research said at all. It was talking about dual users, so it's people who smoke and vape. And the comparison was, do, do smokers have more carcinogens than smokers and vapors compared to non-smokers? There was no pure vapors in that study. So where they got that result from, I've got no idea because it didn't match up with the study they were actually linking to. So there are so many of these. Every time that an article comes out like this, any of these scaremonger articles that appear, just check the sources on them. Don't take them at face value. It's a lot of scare tactics that are being used to put vaping down. So on that, going to leave that for the moment. That's all the news for this week that's going on in the vape world. Uh, or at least all the news that I'm going to look into for this vlog. So let's end with some happy stuff. Let's go with my first impressions of the Pulse 80 here. So I've got this device, it's one I've been waiting for for a long, long time. Pretty much since before I started this channel, I wanted to get my hands on this device ever since I heard about it, all the way back in the beginning of the year. And I finally have it in my hand and it's everything I thought it was gonna be. Uh, hits like a train, was expecting that. The Vandy chip that I've got in here is as good as a Gene chip would be, but I don't have a Gene chip one to compare. But it's an instant fire up, hit the button, and it is firing. There you go, you can see it going. Uh, the Squonk system, I've not had a leak from it yet. I've only been using it for a, for a few hours at this point. Uh, the refill system with the refill bottle, I have tried that. You can see I filled that up completely and I've already done it. Really, really good system. Really glad I included that in, get, in the package. The only downsides that I've seen so far is, uh, well, packaging wise, it could really do with coming as a full kit. No full kit option at this point. If it came with it, a Pulse 24 with it, or even a Pulse 22 with it, just to give you that option to get the full kit in one go, that would be better as well. Uh, obviously that would up the price a bit, but obviously if you get the full kit, then it would be worth it. Uh, not really seeing any downsides as yet. I'm not too sure on the menu structure. I still need to get the hang of that. Uh, I'm liking the most of it so far. Uh, and I'm just liking the feel, I'm liking the shape, and I think this is gonna be a really good little mod, but I am go I'm not gonna pass judgment right yet. I'm gonna try and look past my bias on this because I have been looking forward to this for a long time. I'm gonna give it a proper test out going to try it with a couple of our RDDAs on it, going to try uh, different batteries in it, see what difference they make. I've obviously been using the Sanyo Bs first, I've got an Anking, I've got my iJoys, I've got different 2700s that I can try in here and I'll try with an 18650 as well, just to see what differences, if any, from different batteries. Uh, other than that, it's just going to be pretty much my main squonker for the next little while. Uh, I am liking it so far and with the Pulse 24 on there that's obviously the RDA that's designed to go with it so loving it so far. So that's going to wrap us up for today, a bit of a long one today. Uh, if you made it this far hit that like button, let me know that you like the video. Feel free to leave a comment below on anything that I've said here. Uh, obviously quite a bit of vape chat going on today, lots of vape stuff going on in the news, lots of new stuff going on and obviously the new mod. So like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, go check out my other channel as well, Mongoose on a Mission. This is my weight loss channel. I just put a video up on there today. 
uh, hit one of my first goals. I'm really happy, so go check that that channel out. There's like three videos on there. I don't upload that up on there very often. It's like once a week, but it's just talking about me losing weight. There's no vape chat over there at all. There'll be a link at the end of the video if you want to go check that one out. Uh, follow me on the Twitter there, the at one purple mongoose, and uh, Patreon is up and running. Go check out stuff over there. There is a video on the Patreon site that shows you uh, the reward scheme on there. Uh, the top reward in there is one of these, so go check it out. And that is www.patreon.com slash purple mongoose. And for the very first time on the vlog, we're going to do an as ever. Okay,